Hi, this is Teacher Sam. Today, we are going to talk about the steps on writing the review of related literature. Are you ready? Let's go! To understand what a review of related literature is, let us first define these two terms. Review. Review means to look back on. Literature. It means any written materials published in books, journals, magazines, novels, poetry, yearbook, encyclopedia, and many more. According to Cristobal and De La Cruz 2017, Review of related literature is the process of compiling, classifying, and evaluating what other researchers have written on a certain topic that is relevant to yours. So, meaning, a review of related literature is a written output which contains statements from different authors or writers that are relevant to your study. Now that you already know what a review of related literature is, let us move on to the steps on writing it. Step 1. Know your research topic. 2. Search for literature. 3. Read the selected articles. 4. Take notes while reading. 5. Organize the selected statements by looking patterns and by developing subtopics. 6. Write your draft. 7. Review and edit your work. In writing the review of related literature, it is very important that the researcher knows her topic very well because knowing the research topic will give the researcher focus on what to write in the review. As we go along in this discussion, let us use this topic as your guide to write your review. The Effects of Chronic Absenteeism on the Academic Performance of the Students Step 2. Search for literature. Look for literature that is relevant to your study. You can find this in reference materials such as journals, textbooks, reference books, abstract of thesis, dissertations, and computers with internet access. Since our study is about the effects of chronic absenteeism on the academic performance of the students, let us look for some articles which are related to this. You may search for some keywords such as chronic absenteeism, um, effects of chronic absenteeism on the academic performance of the students or what is an academic performance, how important is academic performance, anything as long as it is related to your study. Once you find an articles or journals which are related to your study, make sure that you read those and find information that can be useful in your current research study. Okay, so while reading, you have to take some notes. You have to put only the important data in your own words and make sure that you do not copy the statements from the article word for word. You have to rephrase it. As I've read some articles which are related to the effects of chronic absenteeism on the academic performance, um, I have jotted down some information that can be useful in writing the review. So I just gave you an example of two. Chronic absenteeism has significant impacts on students' academic performance. That's according to Balfans and Barnes 2018 and Gottfried 2017. Next, we have Adults who are academically successful are more likely to have a job and financially stable life compared to those who don't. That is according to Rigier, 2011. Step 5. Organize the selected statements by looking patterns and by developing subtopics. So once you are done uh, jotting down some informations from your related articles, you have to organize those statements that you have gathered according to 
their themes. As for this first statement and the others which I did not show you, I've categorized them into the effects of chronic absenteeism because all of them are about the effects of chronic absenteeism. They talk about the effects of chronic absenteeism. Meanwhile, the second statement and the others which I did not show you, I've categorized them into the importance of academic performance because all of them talks about how important the academic performance is. Once you are done organizing the statements that you have gathered from the articles that you have read, you have to start writing the draft of your review. Be sure to use citation in acknowledging your sources. Since I come up with three themes from categorizing the statements, I will be discussing these three themes in my review. The first one is importance of academic performance. Second, chronic absenteeism. Third, effects of chronic absenteeism on the academic performance by using those statements that I've gathered from those articles that I have read. I'm sorry that I just give you this outline of my review instead of the whole draft. I cannot show you everything because of its length. I hope you understand. The very last step in writing your review is review and edit your work. Let someone read your review and ask for feedback. According to Faltado et al. 2016, having read the review with a fresh mind, they may spot inaccuracies, inconsistencies, and ambiguities that had not been noticed by the writer. Now that you already know the seven steps in writing the review of related literature, I know that you can start doing it. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye!